Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to another tips and tricks tutorial video from Social Boomin. My name is Taylor Keen, and today I'm just going to show you how to install a Facebook Pixel base code with Google Tag Manager. Now, there's a lot of different websites that you, you know, you could use an integration to have installed your Google Tag Manager, but again, I'm just assuming it's already installed wherever your website is. So, Moving forward, um, all you're going to need to do is go to tagmanager.google.com and then once you get there, click on tr uh, tags, then click on new, then name your pixel or your tag, I guess, Facebook pixel base code. Then what you're going to want to do is click on tag configuration, click discover more tag types in community template gallery, click on search. Type in Facebook, choose the one by Facebook Archive, which is the Facebook pixel right here. It's made by Facebook. So if they update it, it gets updated. Um, all right, enter your pixel ID. You know, one, two, three, I'm not entering mine, but enter yours in there. Then we're just gonna wanna, what is, what, just a real quick lesson, it's like, from a development standpoint, what is the, what does Facebook ask you to do to install the pixel? Well, they tell you they want that pixel code, not just the ID, but like installed on every page of the website. So all we need to do right here is then choose enable advanced matching. And um, we're not going to go into any of the DPO or data processing options and stuff like that today. If that's more of an advanced um, setting. If one little thing I'll go over is tag sequencing. If you do want to have a code fire after it, you can do the tag sequencing here or with a tag firing priority and it gives instructions on how to do that right there. Um, but then scroll down, click triggers. If you don't have all pages or page views as an option, you can click the plus icon and create that yourself. And all you need to do is click on that. So click save. I can't save because this pixel ID is wrong. So we'll discard these changes. Once you click save, it would bring you out here. It would show up right here. Then you would click submit, publish, and you're good to go. Uh, so I do hope that helps. Uh, I am going to do a little video on view content events and uh, purchase events as well. And yeah, it's really not too complicated. So I am here for you if you have any questions. and. We do have a school.com community that I will plug in the description below where you can just ask us questions and um, it's just a free community to join. We're eventually going to build courses out in there as well for you and uh, yeah, just an easier place to get answers to quickly. So um, we'd love to see you in there and I hope you have a great rest of your week, day, whole shebang. <laughs>